everybody. Good morning. It is day four here aboard the Disney Dream. We are in Olden, Norway today, going through the fjords, and it is absolutely gorgeous out. We yeah. can't wait to get out on deck and explore and see what all is there. And as you can see, Cody's here. He's feeling a little bit better today. Yep. Um, <laughs> I apologize. I missed yesterday. I think I sound worse than I feel, but uh, I'm feeling much better this morning. Hopefully, this is a very arduous uh, excursion today, so hopefully I'll be all right. But I really want to get out and see Norway, so I'm going to suck it up and go do it. Yep, so we are going to be doing the Via Ferrata today in Olden. It is going to be, like Cody said, extremely arduous. I have a feeling I'm going to regret it after the pulpit rock hike yesterday. He might regret it because he's not feeling 100%. Yep. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Still excited. Yep. And then Caitlin is going to be doing the Bristol Glacier Tour using the troll car, I believe. She was able to get the troll car. So we'll see how that goes for her. I'm excited to see what that one looks like. Yep. And then I do think that on the way back from the Via Ferrata, we'll be using the sky lift. So you'll be able to see what that looks like here in Olden as well. Yep. And then later tonight, once we get back, we'll have dinner at Paulo. Yep. Super excited. So come one and wander with us through day four here aboard the Disney Dream in Olden, Norway. Sweating. <laughs> oh, I should have brought sunglasses. Oh, I forgot my sunglasses too. Oh no. <laughs> I meant to do that. They're in the other backpack. Yeah. I meant to bring them yesterday as well, and I forgot them too. Oh, shorts. There you go. Someone else is in shorts. Thank you. <laughs> You're in Norway, Mister. Yeah. Ooh, that'll be a good shot for to get the dream. Ooh, yeah, that will yeah. be. Yeah. How's it feel? Right. It feels, <laughs> it feels good. Still getting over whatever this is, so I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm feeling better. <laughs> he says until we do the excursion today, and then he's right back where he was yesterday. Very possible. Hopefully not. <laughs> ah, look at the ship. Look at this adorable little train that's right here. As we're getting on the bus. <laughs> Oh, here we go. 
and all of you have gloves, shoes, and a bag of that included. Uh, when you come in here, you will get a bag of that and a ticket for Lewis Skylift down again. And you have to sign the form. So, bag of that, ticket, sign the form. That's the first step. After that, you find gloves. And you go out to the left to get shoes. Bag of that, ticket, sign form, gloves, shoes. After that, you meet in front of the shop here. All of you need minimum two liter water because we're going to the top of this mountain, <laughs> walking and climbing for five, six, maybe seven hours. So you need food, you will get back right here, but you need two liter water. That's for sure. <laughs> That's hot. It's very high. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Super it's in the clouds. Oh. And up here is where the uh, one of the uh, the bridges is or whatever. Um, the bridge is really good. Yeah. Oh, I'm like nervous. Say so after doing pulpit rock yesterday, I'm nervous. <laughs> Just because that winded me, so this will be interesting. <laughs> so we're going to take on a nice bike ride next week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we decided to climb up the mountain. <laughs> Look at that. But then we get to come down the lift. So at least we don't. Yeah, that looks terrifying. <laughs> at least we don't have to oh. climb down. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> I'm not doing another excursion after this because I'll be in the hospital after this. <laughs> oh my god. It's literally in the clouds right now. <laughs> oh good. my gosh. Good, good, good. Good, good. 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 So good. Say so it's definitely going to be, I think, the craziest excursion we've ever done. <laughs> Maybe the craziest thing we've ever done. Can you think of anything crazier we've done than this? A helicopter. Uh, that's like, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking more maybe like kind of physically, like something we were physically doing. No. Maybe you. Half dome? Yeah, I would say, yeah, maybe you were yeah. doing half dome, but. Okay. We got this. I can do it. <laughs> All right, so for the excursion so far we signed our waivers they have baguettes for us unfortunately hey, we didn't ask but it yeah did not look like they have any allergy options we probably maybe needed to let them know ahead of time but luckily cody has some granola bars and then we also got gloves and now we're waiting for shoes we got our shoes on Different colored laces. <laughs> You're looking very fashionable. <laughs> As usual. The shoes, which luckily the shoes did come with the excursion. For some reason it was like kind of confusing if they did or not, but they do. More and so and before. Gloves. Yes, and the gloves, yeah. More so, when I was reading about it, it was hard to tell if the shoe rentals came with the excursion or not. They do. Luckily, there are restrooms to use right behind me. Thank goodness. <laughs> I need to pee beforehand, <coughs> as usual. <laughs> We pretend to be athletic, but uh, <laughs> questionable. <laughs> right. 
at the beginning. Right. Feeling yeah. good right now. This is exactly how it started. The pulpit rock started. <laughs> Got this. I can do it. And there's a whole mountain to go. a bit of an uphill walk. And this is just the beginning. Whew. Never mind the heavy panting. Please. <sighs> I know that doesn't look very steep on camera, but it is very steep. That's like the pulpit rock hike, but like two times worse. That's okay, made it. I mean, we haven't even technically started the Via Ferrata. This is just to get to the Via Ferrata. We're in such trouble. We're committed now though. There's no going back. Hey Dan. I'm sweaty. <laughs> I'm all right. My lips hurt. <laughs> <laughs> starting. My nipples! It's starting! Alright, here we go. Alright, stairs are better. I like stairs more. Really? Yeah, than that. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Pooped. <laughs> oh. We are coming up to the practice practice area. Haven't even started the actual Via Ferrata yet. <laughs> this is your warm up. Oh, my warm up was the hike yesterday. My eyes are sweating. <laughs> Was this just the Disney group? All 40 of us? Okay, yeah, there was a few. I think there were more, oh, really? <laughs> All right, so I think we left about 11.30 from the active shop. It's now 12.30. An hour in. I don't know how much longer. Granted, they said the total time for this was six and a half hours. So, but I'm sure that includes travel time and all that. Whew. All right, now we're down. I don't know how many to go. We'll see. Victory. 
I know, we gotta walk again. Very arduous. How you doing? I'm okay. I'm good when I'm standing still. I am also very sweaty, very hot. How you doing? That, that last bit exhausted me. Yeah. There's a lot of bugs here. Yeah. Love flies. Yes, big flies. Attracted to our sweat. <laughs> I'm assuming. Yeah. It's a, the gloves off, huh? I did a while ago. What am I doing? Yeah, this is a very physically active excursion. <laughs> bring lots of water. And if it's a sunny day, bring sunscreen. Hey, I can see the ship. Mm -hmm. My butt is getting wet from sitting on the ground. I can feel it. <laughs> Almost the whole route are A, B, and B, C. At least from the start here and up to 560 meters. Then the route splits in two. Easy route on the left side, which is still difficult. And then you have a harder route on the right side, which is very difficult. So if someone wants to try this very difficult route, the first part here should be quite easy and you should have a lot of energy left. If you think this is an okay challenge from the start to this point, you go on the left side. It's gonna be challenging anyway. The side is a little bit more risky, but not too bad. I patrolled and in, in worked on snow safety in Alaska in, in my third league, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I got this mister. <laughs> so, yeah, you got this. <laughs> What'd you get? And I just said, yeah, you got this. <laughs> First clip. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, my mouth is so dry, I don't think you can do it. <laughs> it sounds like a little dehydrated individual in the Sahara Desert trying to call for help. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Come back. <laughs> I'm going to change lines right here. Fascinating vantage point right here. Good. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. oh, that's so cool. So I have no idea if you can see him on the GoPro, but. Probably not. <laughs> this is actually kind of a perfect weather day because, like, the sun is blocked from with the clouds, but it's still sunny out, you know? Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah. Much better than when I looked. In yeah. That's such a weird angle. <laughs> You're literally straight up. Yeah.
This one right here with the wire in the rock. That was, how'd you get up there? <laughs> yeah. Well, just got attacked by a bumblebee. You okay? Yeah. Need it. Has... We're over halfway to the bridge. Okay. Huh. I'm waiting for you, so keep going. I just want to make sure you make it to these steps over here. What's that? So I make sure you make it to these steps over here. Say, so hopefully your longer legs do better than mine. Where is he? He's coming over the mountain. He'll be coming around the mountain when he comes. Woo! There he is. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Whoa! What? His aunt was carrying this like oh, I saw the... bug wing. Isn't that crazy? I feel like we're close. Close-ish. Well, I feel like once we get up to the top there, it's going to be the bridge. Yeah, it's, you know, a little ways. <laughs> a little ways of time. Make me feel better. We're very close. Thank you. It's just around the corner. <laughs> just around the mountain top. That's actually what one of the guides told me yesterday for pulpit. Uh, <laughs> and Did you finally get to see what it felt like being in Caitlin's shoes? Yeah, I asked him and he was like, just around the corner Got this lady. I'm watching you to learn how to do it. 
All right, here we go. I just want people to know that are watching this video, this is literally straight up. This is vertical. Yeah. You ever seen Vertical Limit? No. Good, don't. <clears throat> How's that part, lady? It's tough. Yay. Yeah. You know, sometimes lying can be a good thing. Too late. That was the scariest part yet. Oh my God, this is shaky. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Holy crap. Tight rope walking. <laughs> Down, don't look down. Focus on the pathway. Focus on the pathway. Don't look down. Oh my god. Oh, I can't go forward. Really hard. I think it's because I'm taller, so mine. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so they're all
Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Back to the beginning. Five hours to get up. <laughs> Five minutes to get down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've always opted for the stairs after every excursion. No. This is an no. exception. We have earned the elevator today. Yeah. They will not be taken. We, we have earned the elevator. No stairs. Stairs up to level nine. Yeah, after You're hilarious. Today. Oh, thank you. Oh, but they're offering hot chocolate again. I'm so happy that we that are here. That was the most exhausting excursion we've ever done. Oh my god. Me coming off of being sick and Cheyenne coming off of her huge hike yesterday. That may have not been the smartest idea. I don't know how we did it. And I I, I knew we were gonna regret it, but I, I mean now I'm so happy we did it. Like I feel so accomplished. I do too. Let me get in the shower and <laughs> yeah. I'll feel accomplished. Oh, we're, we're <laughs> Wake up, everyone. Yep, there we go. Wait, where was the music coming from? From the puppet? Right? I think so. <clears throat> what? Oh, okay. <laughs> is it going to take too long? I'm so sad. This is definitely my favorite port so far. Granted, yeah. we've only been to two, but. <laughs> Oh, you're talking on this trip. Yeah, on this trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, although, I will say, this port is, is up there. Yeah. All right. Also, just for reference, this is what we hiked. All the way down here. All the way up here. All the way up to the top. We hiked that whole thing. It took us six hours. That whole thing. All right, so we just got back from our excursion. We're exhausted, but we have no time to rest. Rest is for... The wicked. Well, I was sick yesterday and I was resting, so I can't really oh, say that. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're not resting. We have to go to our dinner at Palo because it was supposed to be at 6. Um, our friends were nice enough to change it to 7.30 because we got back on board at like 6.50. So we're getting ready. We're heading over. We're going to Palo.
we finished up our Palo dinner and it was so delicious. So Palo is interesting in that it works in two different ways depending on how you want to do it. You can do a fixed price menu, which you just pay one fixed price and then you go through about four courses or so, or you can order a la carte and just order separate items off of the menu and then it just, you know, tallies up your price at the end. I did the fixed price menu because I figured that would be the most like cost efficient way of doing it. I've since realized that in the in the future I would maybe not do that based on what I got this time. So for the first course I got the, oh gosh, I can't remember if the first course was the salad or the mozzarella ball. Hmm. I think it was mozzarella ball. The same. And I'll start with the mozzarella ball. So I got the mozzarella ball, which this one is usually always delicious. However, I just cannot eat that much mozzarella in one sitting. <laughs> so it was very good. I would give that one a four out of five because it is absolutely delicious. I just can't eat very much of it, but that's a me problem, not a food problem. <laughs> then the next uh, course that I got was, I think it was called an arugula salad or something like that. This one, unfortunately, is a very, in my opinion, kind of basic salad. It's really just like the, the leaves, the dressing and then I think there was like two parmesan or some parmesan flakes or so it's fairly basic in my opinion I, I don't know like I probably wouldn't have ordered it off the a la carte menu really just got it because it was part of the fixed price menu I'd give it like a three out of five it was still good it's just nothing that I would write home about and then for the main course I was really feeling pasta tonight so I got the pasta don't remember what I think it was just called the penne pasta the penne pasta that's here yeah. yep, it had some sort of red sauce on it it was very good but the pricing for this pasta is actually fairly inexpensive compared to like some of the other um, menu items so I would have probably stuck with the a la carte ordering had I got had I like really kind of done the math for this if I was doing the pasta and if I was getting one of the more expensive meat plates, I would have gone with the fixed price menu for that. But now I know, good for to know for the future. The pasta was still really good. I would give it probably, I'm not a huge red sauce pasta person, so I'd probably give it a four out of five because I do think it was really good. Maybe just not like my absolute favorite, but it was still very good. And then, of course, last but not least, the most important part, it was dessert. The chocolate souffle. The, re the, the whole reason, basically, we go to Palo dinner. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. That one's usually a five out of five, as always. Again, the whole reason we go. So, can't, just can't complain. It was, all, it was just amazing because of that. And it's always usually, I think, worth it to go to Palo dinner at least once during a cruise, especially a long cruise. So... Hopefully you'll get the chance to go or decide to go if you'd like to. But I think we paid for the a la carte one, oh, 45, 50? Oh gosh, I'll put the price here on uh, down below of what we actually paid per person, what the fixed price menu was. Uh, but of course, like I said, you can also order a la carte and a la carte does actually give you more options to order from too. So there you go. Right, yes. Dinner was fantastic. For me, I went a la carte tonight. So I ended up just getting uh, the penne pasta and then the chocolate souffle. Again, I don't eat a whole lot in one setting. So for me, uh, doing a la carte is a little bit better stomach wise and also price wise. Uh, like Cheyenne said, the penne pasta is actually quite affordable and it's fantastic. Uh, I love pasta. Uh, I know Cheyenne's not as much of a pasta fan, but I love it. So. I'm gonna give my penne pasta a five uh, pause. I will also say uh, my penne pasta was obviously the gluten-free variety. Um, it, ironically, the penne pasta for the gluten-free, the, the pasta is bigger than the regular penne pasta that Cheyenne had, which was fascinating. It doesn't really matter much. I don't know if it changes the taste a whole lot, but it was still fantastic. So yeah, five pause on that one. Um, and then for dessert, I also got the gluten-free chocolate souffle. You can get a chocolate souffle gluten-free if you uh, so choose, and it's fantastic. 100% um, agree, five paws out of five. Absolutely love that chocolate souffle. It's the closest thing that I can get to remembering what the chocolate souffles used to taste like. So fantastic dinner experience. Always love Paulo. Definitely go with Cheyenne's tip of pick either a la carte or um, what's it called? 
price menu. Or a fixed price menu, whichever one's going to be better suited for you, but fantastic. <laughs> oh no. <You> okay. <laughs> I'm okay. It hurts. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I think she's a drugstore. Is it a wiener dog? Uh, that was a pig. I was saying, oh. yeah, in the book. Hey, oh, you're like a pregnant person. <laughs> it hurts. <'Cause> you're waddling. <laughs> it hurts. Can't help it. Look at that booty, though. I know, right? That booty dough. <laughs> Look, like he's got chocolates in his hands. Yeah, I know. He's got <laughs> Wolverine that. claws with the chocolate. <laughs> oh my god, that would have been so great. Like, well, well, oh, <laughs> they don't really fit in there. Maybe, oh no, they already did that full thing. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my god. Someone's playing the trumpet. I know! Woo! <laughs> So it is a little bit later on our olden day, um, but the people want to know how was your excursion and would you do it again? to the Bristol Glacier and it was really really fun. Um, we took like a 45 minute bus ride um, over to the like the little it's, it's almost like a little town but it's just like a little uh, there's some stores and stuff and like a cafeteria before the start of the, the hike to the glacier. Um, our excursion started at the cafeteria they had like 
coffee and tea and then like I'm gonna say like 12 different kinds of cakes that you could eat. <clears throat> Our tour guide did warn us that the cakes are delicious but you do have to walk at the end a little bit up to the glacier so be careful how many you eat. Um, and I was actually happily surprised because they had I think three gluten-free options. Uh, one was like a jello, one was like a mousse, and then this like almond cake. Um, they all tasted good, but definitely not like celiac safe because there were like parts of cookies from the other cakes and stuff like near or in them. So just a warning. Um, but that was nice to have options. Um, they had a nice big store. So we were able to kind of walk around that area and go in the different shops and stuff for about an hour before we took the troll cars up. The troll car ride up was maybe like 10 minutes. It was pretty quick. Um, but you ride, it's like a, it's almost like a farm vehicle. That's what it reminded me of, but it's like three by three. And then there's like three ish rows or something like that. And then you ride up. We went past a really, really cool waterfall that the wind was blowing the right direction and we got very wet, but it was still nice. So they kind of warn you. So wear a jacket, um, some type of waterproof jacket if you have it. They also, in the back rows, they have like a vinyl cover to go over your lap so that you don't get too wet from that. Um, but that was a nice ride up. And then from there, it's about, I'm going to say about a 15 minute walk um, to the glacier area. The the very beginning of the walk is pretty steep so some people were pretty out of breath but after that it's a little more flat so if you can make it past that part you'll be fine um, once you get to the top you can see the glacier you don't have very long at the top it's only like 15 minutes so that's kind of the disappointing part by the time you walk up you have like 15 minutes and then you got to walk back down to catch the troll car again um, so if you're really fast I guess you could get closer to the glacier but I kind of just stopped near like there's like a lake underneath the glacier um, and you can play with like little parts of the glacier and stuff like that. Um, and then you walk back down, get on the troll car. And then once we got back, it was time to leave. And oh, by the way, the scenery there was unbelievable. On the way there, driving past the lake, driving past so many waterfalls. And even at that spot, before you start the hike, there's an unbelievable waterfall in the background. Um, so it was just absolutely beautiful. Um, and then on the way back from the bus, we did stop at the lake to take pictures for like five minutes. Um, and then you hop back on. And then our our guide actually gave us the option um, if we wanted, he dropped some people who wanted to be dropped off like in the town center because it's like a 15 minute walk back to the boat. But we had time to uh, before we had to get back on the on yeah on board for the, I don't know, whatever that's called by the time it was time to leave. So I actually chose that option. So I got off there and I just kind of walked around. I went to a store um, and then just kind of took in the sights on the way back to the boat. And then, but if you didn't want that option, they would still drop you off um, back by the boat. But yeah, overall it was really, really fun. Um, I would definitely recommend it and I would definitely do it again. Personally, I think that the excursion that you went on would appeal to more people than the excursion than Cheyenne and I did. Um, so I think it will be good for people to see that one because I think that that will appeal to a lot of people, a lot of people. Yeah, I um, really quick. I actually had wished that with that option, because you do have the option of not with the troll cars, but if you did just the Brickstall Glacier excursion to do the hike up and then back. So with that one, I think I don't know how much time you get at the top, but you get to kind of you have your own time limit to do those things. Um, I was kind of hoping I could walk down because I thought that that would be fun if I would just get the ride up and then I could walk back down to take in the sights a little bit more because there were like, there were some, uh, I think, goats and then creeks and rivers and um, and waterfalls and stuff. So that would have been nice. But our tour guide said that we wouldn't have time for that. So if that's what you're hoping to do, you probably won't be able to. You'd have to do the actual hike one to do that. But then you need to be speedy because you only have a certain amount of time to get there and back. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Hello everyone. Hello from the future. <laughs> yes. We decided to record this the next day, uh, mainly because we were exhausted and we wanted to make sure that our review of the Via Ferrata excursion was something that was 
a little bit more thought out and less reactionary. Shane, how did you make it? So now that it's done, now that it was yesterday, <laughs> I am very happy we did it. Felt super accomplished that we did it, but it was incredibly exhausting. <laughs> and I think so the rock climbing portion absolutely loved. I had a fantastic time doing the actual rock climbing. There was so much more hiking than I expected there to be during that excursion. Yeah. So I think if it had been more rock climbing, I would be feeling better about it, but still was, I think overall, a lot of fun, a great challenge, happy we accomplished it. I'm extremely proud that we got through that. Um, we're decently in shape individuals, <laughs> decently, you know, and I have to say it's probably one of the more physically demanding, like, things I've had to do in my life, um, in regards to, like, hiking and stuff like that. It works out your legs, it works out your arms, it works out your mind, it does everything. Um, it was extremely fun, but, like, I won't lie, looking at it when we first started out seeing, you know, the teeny tiny little bridge that's way up the mountain that knowing we have to climb up that entire thing to get to it, it was very, very intimidating. Let's give you a few more details on what's included and all that fun type of stuff. Once we got there, they gave us kind of a brief breakdown of what we were going to be doing, the instructions, they had to sign a waiver, mm -hmm. then they gave us the gloves, which we actually got to keep the gloves. Yeah, that was super, that. yeah, we didn't yeah. think we were gonna be, we thought we were gonna be returning everything at the end. We actually got to keep the gloves, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> Reading through the, the description of the excursion, it didn't seem super clear if the shoe rental was included in the price of the excursion. It was. We didn't have to pay extra for that, yeah. so that was nice. So we got the harnesses, the um, helmets, which, yes, they do have GoPro helmets that you can use if you want. There weren't very many of them, so you do need to kind of grab them early if you want them. Yeah. They do have... Um, a water station where you can refill a, wa a water bottle if you're bringing one. They also have water that is available to purchase there if you yeah. need it. They sure. have restrooms there and then they also have like a small little store section where you can kind of buy some things where like you may need like I know we saw sunglasses. Um, they have pants, shirts. Yeah like that. so there's a few other things that if you need it for whatever reason there were you know r related items there that you could get. Yeah. We're supposed to, I know we were supposed to get back to the <coughs> ship at 5 p.m. We did not get back to the ship until 6 30. Yeah. The excursion went an hour and a half longer than what it was supposed to. So plan. We got ahead back at like 6 45 because we were on the bus that's at 6 30. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got back at like 6 45. So yeah, we were, we were pushing it for time. Yeah. Plan for it to be a little bit longer than what it says. Yeah, <laughs> there were times during, especially like the beginning portion, when I was like, I, I may need to turn back. Like, I don't yeah. know if I'm going to be able to do this. Yeah but I persevered. <laughs> Luckily, I knew like <clears throat> the hiking part exhausted me, but I knew that I did better rock climbing. Yeah. So I knew that even when I when we finished the hiking part, even though I was so tired, I felt confident enough in myself that I was like, I, I know I'm pretty sure I can do the rock climbing. I'm, yeah. I'm feeling good. So ah, it was, whew, what, a, what an excursion. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. And I'm happy to say that we completed it. We did it. Yeah. Neither of us passed out. Uh, <laughs> we came <was> close. close. <laughs> we yeah. got lightheaded yeah. multiple times. At least me. Uh, I think no, Cody I just once. You're the end. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hello, Hello, everyone. <laughs> anyway. We're so tired. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of day number four in Olden, Olden Norway. Olden, Norway. Today was exhausting. So exhausting. If that video... <laughs> doesn't seem like it. I promise you it was. We were at the bottom. We went to the top. It took over six hours. But we did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. And we were rewarded with Paulo, so that was nice. Yes. 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 Tomorrow we are going to be in Allison, Norway. Again, was pronouncing that very incorrectly. I apologize to any Norwegian viewers we may have. So sorry about that, but I know the, pro uh, the correct pronunciation now. Uh, I was telling her the correct pronunciation. She, oh my god, I didn't even say that word right. <laughs> <laughs> the correct pronunciation. Oh boy. Oh, we're losing it. 
<laughs> anyway, we do not have an excursion plan tomorrow, but we do plan to hopefully, as long as we are ambulatory, walk around the city a little bit and see what we can see in the city. We're going to be so sore tomorrow. We're oh going to be God. so sore. So we'll you keep You probably updated. more than me since you had two days of this, but... Yeah, you'll you'll obviously see what we end up getting up to. But maybe, maybe we'll rent like some scooters or something. That'd be fun. <laughs> uh, we will see. But anyway, if you are enjoying these videos and adventures, please give us a like and subscribe. We would greatly appreciate it, and it would help out the channel. But just thank you so much for viewing, and we will hopefully wend and wander with you again tomorrow in Allison, Norway. Until then. Good night. Bye, everybody. <laughs>